So here it is, the Wolf Ranger out of his packaging. He doesn't really come with any accessories except for this right here, that same USB key type thing. Basically for details, he looks decent. But overall, the fine details, they basically did a poor job on it. Around his visor, I want to try and show you a better shot of his visor. Let me see if I can somehow get a good shot there. That way I can show you what I'm talking about. Okay, perfect. Yeah, as you can see right there, the paint job is quite horrible. Like, you can just see that they didn't really try, try with the paint job there. As you can see, it's kind of scratched up and stuff. Also on his hands too, the silver sections on some parts aren't um, properly painted on. You can't really see it that well through the camera, but up close you can tell that the fine details are just a mess right there. Uh, maybe you can, it's kind of scratched up there. But overall, for me it's not a big issue, but I just wish that they tried. So let me just adjust this properly so that you guys can see him properly. As for articulation, he basically has the same articulation as the Jungle Fury figures, the same ones. Only added articulation is he can move his foot up closer, which I really like because they stand better when their feet are closer together than up spread out like that. So um, that's a nice articulation, although I still wish they had taken the articulation of their feet away because that really caused problems. Comparing him to a regular Jungle Fury figure, let me try to find one. Well, I have the Elephant Ranger here. Maybe it's just my eyes, but but he seems a bit taller than them. Maybe it's, it's how he's designed, but let me try and position them properly. Oh, sorry, let me just put them properly there. Let me just move this so that you can see the full Ranger. There we go. I don't know, maybe it's me, but for me, I think the... Wolf Ranger looks a lot taller than than the first wave of figures. And I don't know. Overall, they did a really good job. It's just the fine details needs uh, some work on, except for that, everything else they did well. Oh, and I also want to show you the added sound feature. The added sound feature, I believe, now, to me, sounds like the morphing sound, but maybe I I am wrong. But you, you guys be the judge. Okay, so we have the hall right here on the back. You basically insert this end of the USB key type thing. And you press the button. Let me. Basically, that's the noise it makes. Let me play it again. That's basically it. So, um, pricing range. So, that's basically it for the Wolf Ranger. There's nothing too drastic. So, for pricing range, I. I live in Canada, so the pricing in Canada is more expensive. So I paid eight ninety two for it plus tax to get him, but I haven't see I actually haven't paid attention or looked for him on eBay. But they usually charge you more on eBay because that okay, that's shipping and then there are the crazy sellers that believe these are extremely rare and so they try to charge you more. But if you live in the US, if you find this figure and you don't have him, I recommend getting him because, I don't know, it might be rare. I just wouldn't take the chance. I would get it if I were you. In the US, it would be cheaper, that, like a standard figure. So, that's basically it. I think I covered all of it. And I want to thank you for watching. And my next review might, and that's a big might, be on a Lord Z Chaser figure. That's if I find one. I'm not sure if they will even sell anymore, knowing how rare they are. Although I did find a green chaser figure, but I never really cared for the green ranger anyways. Like, not badly enough to actually have a figure of him, but he is pretty cool. Anyways, that's basically it. 
and I really hope to find the Rhino Ranger and that review is coming up too once I find him and that's basically it and thanks for watching and as always leave feedback and I did get a comment saying that I sounded mad or angry well, or I was in a bad mood. It sounded as if I was in a bad mood in my Jungle Fury set of figures. And I really apologize if that's how I sounded. I didn't mean to sound that way. Maybe I was distracted. I don't know. I don't even remember sounding angry. But if I did, I want to apologize. I it wasn't intentional. It must have just come out. And anyways, hope this review sounds good. And always leave feedback. And thanks for all the subscribers and people who added me as friends. Have a great day.